and I had readers, uh, you know, who wanted to know, you know, what was happening. It wasn't always easy, and I'm sure that there are still to this day secret stuff. Eventually, classified documents will be released. You're dealing with people who are close to governments, maybe quite privately, and you're close to your own government, but you're not necessarily a government official. One level is for the public, meetings and so on, camera, and, and one other level, back channels, secret meetings, confidential contacts, and so on and so forth. The public should know about the negotiations when they are completed, but the public is in no position to judge the tactics on an hour-by-hour -hour basis. I think people knew that there was a backdoor channel, but they didn't know exactly how we were operating it. And if they did know, they didn't talk about it. They made the biggest contract. Egypt, and this contract worth $1.1 billion. And we said, you can't do that. They'll kill us. Nobody quite knows whether he was a real agent for the Israelis or whether he was a double agent. I knew him quite well, but I knew that he was a member of the Mossad at the time and uh, nothing more. The price of peace is very high to have this courageous man and my close friend killed. A bigger loss for me than almost anything that ever happened in my own personal family. You have to be courageous enough to allow another channel to operate. 